One, two, three, four. A limited. Eliminate's All-Star Week in Vegas, baby. Your favorite players return. I'm an All-Star. I'm back. This time, the gloves are off. All-Stars all week long. For a girl like this. Ooh, esta bellissima. How far would you go? Y'all see me in my bikini. Can I get a little show or something? You want me to, that last moment we just shared was one of the lowest points of my life. Eliminate's All-Star Week in Vegas. A little bit more than I asked for. Eliminate. One, two. <laughs> hey, my name is Jennifer, and this is Eliminate All Stars. The Rio is a great place for an All Star Eliminate show because there's so much stuff to do on a day. There's not a better place to make it. The last time I was on the show, I was on the episode with all the Hooter Girls. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You need to keep those in for a little while. Those are really They're still a little terrible. swollen and all, but they'll be fine once they I'm proud of them. It's totally different being a picker than a player because now everything's in my hands. I can do what I want to do, you know? So I'm looking for somebody who's fun outgoing and spontaneous like I am, but is not jealous because I know too many guys. A limited. <laughs> Starting our date out at the Masquerade Court at the Rio Hotel. Well, I asked for five guys since it's Vegas. Don't know which round, but two guys are going down at the same time. All star player number one, George. Previously eliminated round three. George wowed the picker by singing the hits from 1950 in Italian. Penso che lo sogno così non dalle torne, ma più me le vince con le mani della faccia de blu. I don't think I'm gonna sing in Italian again. This time I wanna win. My name is George and I will make it in the third round, really. I will. Oh my god. Okay. How are you? Hey, how What's are your you? Name? I'm Jennifer. I'm George, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. What's going on? Nothing much. Where are you from, Jen? I'm from Nashville. She's a knockout and any man would be lucky enough to get her on physicalities alone. All-star player number two, Tio. Previously eliminated, round three. This international man of mystery often took the mystery too far. Oh, that's not your real name. No. Are we, can you please bless us with the real name? There's no way, not on Come national, on. no, no, no. Give it up. If this girl actually asks me what my name is, I'll tell her, that's no big deal. My name is Tio, and I'm gonna eliminate all stars because girls like musicians. Hello. Hey, how are you? My name is Tio. Tio, I'm Jennifer. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you. you. Wow, you look lovely. Well, look at thank you. Thank you. You look nice yourself. Thank you so much. All-star player number three, Quinn. Previously eliminated round two. I'll let you know if I need any help. His patented yeah, move was the old oh, water bottle under God. the dressing room <laughs> curtain <laughs> maneuver. My oh my God, are you kidding me right now? Yeah, I'm kidding you. <laughs> she got really offended by that, but I, I thought we had a moment. My name is Quinn and I'm all-star because I do it my way. You can count on that. Hey, how are you? I'm Queen. Queen. Hey, hold on. Gotta show uh, you. <laughs> are you giving me a show? Aw, thank you. Aw, I'm Jennifer. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. He pulled a flower out of his pants, and I thought he was trying to give me a strip tease, but uh, the flower was cool too. <laughs> She's like, this guy's a sicko pervert. What's he gonna do with it? He's a sweetheart. That's what I was all about. All star player number four, Tom. Previously eliminated, round three. Oh my god! Last time, Tom's strategy was to try not to attract too much attention to himself. We have moon kite flying! The strategy failed. Nikki kite flying is a metaphor for my whole personality. So you really gotta let yourself be free and find your zen with the wind and earth and become one. My name is Tom, and I think this girl's looking for a sensitive, caring, romantic, naked guy, and I'm the right date. Hello, how are you? How are you? Oh, good. You're gorgeous. What is your name? Yeah, Tom. What's your Tom, name? Tom, I'm Jennifer. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you, Tom. Good. All-star player number five, Vinny. Previously eliminated, round two. Vinny's last dance came to an end when the picker discovered his shocking secret. I'm uh, sorry, but what you lost to it was your contacts. You have beautiful, beautiful brown eyes and you're hiding them with green contacts. But after that, I got LASIK surgery and I'm back, so you better watch out. So I'm taking it all. My name is Vinny. I got rid of the green contacts. I'm all fixed. I'm ready to rock and roll. Forget about it. Oh, oh look at this beautiful oh, lady. For teddy bears. Hello, this is for you. Thank you. I'm Vinny, by the way. Vinny, I'm Jennifer. Very nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Vinny. 
I love the teddy bear thing because I'm a sucker for the teddy bears. I can't believe I got five hotties at one time. I got one beautiful girl Man. right in front of me. Thank you. Nice. You know what really sucks though, guys? What's that? Well, it's five of you. We're in Vegas, right? So the stakes are higher. It's double down. So um, two of you are going to go down in one round at the same time. Oh, ouch. Five guys, man, that's rough. After I met all the guys, we took a walk down to the bar at the Masquerade Village. Where you from? Nashville, bro. Get it right the first time. Nashville, Tennessee. Excuse me, bro. Nashville, Tennessee, bro. You got to pay attention. This Nashville, time. that's a big difference from New York, let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, you know, people talk a little bit Excuse different. Excuse me, I know. Either you're from New York or you ain't. Forget it. You, you play ain't. stickball? You aren't, bro. Well, you want to play me? Back up, big boy. I corrected Vinny's grammar because uh, I don't think a girl wants to go out with a guy that hasn't passed fifth grade English. The fact that um, George corrected Vinny, you know, on his grammar was really awesome. I really thought that was cool for him to step up and be like, excuse me. <laughs> so I took the guys to have drinks and to get to know a little bit about everybody. All right, let me ask you a question. Over in New York, it's yeah, just, it's big like Chicago, right? I'm not just in Chicago, so yeah, go They got a bunch of chiropractic offices. I mean, do you know how to stand up, sir? You always walk like a Neanderthal. Yo, Look there, guys. I think Vinny walks like the hunchback, mm, looks like the hunchback. Could be his brother, who knows? So how did it go for you, the first show? Did you win? Actually, I was eliminated also. So, like so. I think we were all eliminated too soon. So now's our chance to show what we got. Oh, you know? This is just like a Hall of Fame of the Succasauruses, and I'm happy to be here. You know what, Jennifer, everyone came here and got you a gift, and I was going to get you a chocolate bar, but I was playing video games upstairs, and video I loved, I loved these when I was oh, a little kid. Oh, those are neat. Here you go. That's cute. And uh, there you go, I have one of those, and every time you get nervous, so you yeah. just eat a little bit of candy. <laughs> Candy bracelet, what are you in the third grade, Goomba? Back up, all right? Is it really as good as you say? No. See, this is the thing. Oh, oh you're See? eating my candy. What do you think about that? You're hungry, bro. You guys are proud of my face. Good candy, man. Good candy. Good candy. I just licked it a couple times, man. You know what? One word. Class. Clark Gable wouldn't lick candy in uh, Scarlet O'Hare and uh, Gone with the Wind, would he? Clark Gable licked a lot of things, man. Yeah, but how about uh, Did you ever see the E! True Hollywood story? <laughs> really? The guy was a licker. Really? Let me tell you. All right. <laughs> George should have took my hand and just licked the bracelet all the way around to prove, hey, that's my property. I gave her that. Step off. My go in life is really one day to um, be a Jennifer Lopez dancer, you know, shake my thing on the dance floor, you know, on the stage at the Music Awards. You know, what do you guys, I mean, what do y'all want to do in life? I'm kind of looking for the jack of all trades thing. I'm learning how to do different aspects. Well, you want to be the jack of all trades, but what, the master of none? Oh, that's cute, buddy. Keep the haircut up. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. better than my Vinny's head is just shaped funny. He's got this haircut, his head bulges out, and he has his hair going back in. He almost looks like a bullet. I think the number one goal is get, the, get your good job, settle down, find a lady that you're compatible with, maybe possibly your soulmate, have a wife, you know, have some kids. I mean, to basically, we're getting older now. We're not 19 years old. We're Nobody comes here for a soulmate. He's just blowing smoke up her skirt. I don't think it's going to work. You know, I am a um, Hooter girl. How do you guys feel about Hooter girls? How do you feel about, you know, if you was to date someone that was a Hooter girl? What do you think about it? You have pride in your job? Right. You make good I money? My job. And you love your job. Exactly. From Hooter girls to shoveling manure, it doesn't matter. Right? I agree with oh, you. Right? First time tonight. Right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's a true. job. That's true. true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Find a job you love and you never have to work a day in your life. But see, it's, it's a common misconception. Everyone's no, like, no, no. you're dating a stripper. What does that mean? Just because she's a stripper, she's not a good girl? She likes a job. You know what? She's cleaning she's a Hooter girl. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, matter. It doesn't matter. factor in. It doesn't factor in at all. Don't compare me with We're this We're never going to anywhere with Whoa! George gave this stupid comparison about dating a stripper to dating a Hooter girl, which Jennifer does. It was so stupid, dude. There's a difference between a stripper and a Hooters girl, but at the same time, the principle stays the same. The cut is next, then later. I think that was the first time I've ever blushed uh, being around a guy in my life, but you know, there's four new guys. What are you gonna do? <laughs> a limited. day. What do you think Jennifer will eliminate first? George, Tio, Tom, Vinny, or Quinn? Well guys, it's got to the point where it's time to eliminate. I could eliminate two of you right now, but I'm only eliminating one, okay? My choice right now is gonna be George. <laughs> so I'm sorry, That's but okay. I love the bracelet you gave me. I had a good friend out of it, right? That's cool. Nice hug. Oh, man. I feel like this big. 
you were great, but a little too pushy and never ever refer to a Hooter girl as a stripper. I'm surprised she didn't double down, but uh, all's well that ends well. George isn't even closer than all's alright. He's a double day loser. He's out of here. It feels bad getting cut off first, but if you're gonna get cut, you're gonna get cut. You can't prolong the inevitable. That's the way I look at it. I'm gonna take the guys down to the jacuzzi so we can get a little bit more intimate and uh, get to know each other a little bit more. Hey guys. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so normal. I'll tell you what, Jennifer in that bikini. Woohoo! When she walked out, Forget about it, all right? It was beautiful, baby. Well, guys, I want to know a little bit more about you, like relationship-wise, you know? Um, what's the longest you've ever had, you know, a relationship? A year and three months. A year and three months? Well, I've really been on my own for a little while, so. No well, steady relationship? Really, I'm looking, I'm really looking, it's hot. It's really hot out there in New York. Well, why haven't you found anybody? It's hot, you gotta find similar interests, you know? Like someone likes to go out, have a good time, be cool. You know, it's hard. I can understand how Vinny said that it's hard to find somebody in New York because I think the population is only 15, and uh, I know there isn't much to do out there, much light life, right? I don't know what the heck he was talking about. Specifically. All right, guys, y'all see me in my bikini, my little bone and everything. I'm trying to see what y'all are all about. So, you know, can I get a little shot of the bikini? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what time can I got? get a big show or something? That may be a got to see a little bit more than I asked for. When Tom got naked, I saw a certain longing in the eyes of Vinny, and I, I knew that there's something between them that you and I will never understand. Uh, yeah, right, bring it out there, big okay. dog. Oh, sh Not a problem at all, fellas. Oh, uh, okay, nobody else can keep with this. I don't look at What's up? Okay. I got some crazy spontaneous people up in here. Absolutely. The only reason I got naked, I thought if all guys were naked, Jen would reciprocate. What about you? <laughs> I just wanted to see us naked by. Well, how about this? We, switch, about we switch shorts. You, you, know. <laughs> you wear these, I wear those. <laughs> yeah, I put my bottom on. Okay, you Here, I'll, I'll block your view so, so nobody sees I'll it. You know, you put my bottom on. I was really hoping one of the guys wouldn't get naked, but I was really just disappointed. All of them got naked. Tio almost made it, but he got naked too. Oh I don't know, man. It just—it doesn't seem like that best of a party with like one girl fully clothed and like four naked guy idiots. That last moment we just shared was one of the lowest points of my life. Like I never expected <laughs> to see all you guys naked. Like I, I, I getting up there and I don't know. I guess man, that was horrible. Who is Jennifer going to eliminate next? I think Quinn's gonna get cut. It's gonna be Tio. He don't belong to be here. He's not an all-star. This round, if I don't get cut, I think Quinn's gonna get cut. I think I possibly might be one of those doubles who are down. A limit day. <laughs> who is Jennifer going to a limit date next? Quinn, Tio, Tom, or Vinny? Okay, guys, it's time for me to make my second cut. Um, I'm gonna take a couple of you guys into the club with me. Um, I don't choose to use my double down right now this round, so um, one of you guys are going to be leaving me. Um, that one guy would be... You. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. What's up? Hey, man, it's, a, it's all good, brother. <laughs> I know what it feels like getting <laughs> I guess I'm just a second round kind of guy. I don't know what it is, man, but uh, this is where I was born to stay, I guess. Second round cut, but it's cool. Um, I don't have much to say about it. Quinn really didn't do anything wrong. He's just not somebody I'm attracted to. Quinn, it's time for you to go. You're West Coast, baby. I'm East Coast. You know how we know if these do? Go home. She's gonna miss out, man. I, I can salsa. Pretty filthy like, but that's her loss. the guys to the club Rio. I wanted to get them on the dance floor and uh, see what they had shaking their little booty. I thought Jen's dress was bling bling. It was perfect. It fit her tight. It was nice. 
fitter body, beautiful. Tom dressed like he had a beach party outfit on, he had a button down shirt, sneakers on, he was in Vegas. Dress appropriate, big guy. Gosh, Dancing with Three Guys was really different, but it was really fun. Vinny on the dance floor reminded me of a circus monkey. It's pretty hilarious how he dances about the same as a chimp with a banana. Jen's famous booty dance was quite awesome. I was really into it. I didn't see her giving that kind of love to anybody else. I only do my booty dance on guys if I'm really enjoying what they're doing on the dance floor. So Tom was really shaking his thing. So I figured I'd do my little booty dance on him. And I hope he liked it. <laughs> Getting right up on the chick and stuff. That's kind of ghetto. and uh, Which I can get ghetto as well, but I didn't feel like that was appropriate at this time. kiss on Eliminate All-Stars, so forget about it. I got the first kiss, Goomba. As far as Vinny Kissner, I highly recommend trying to cleanse yourself again with some kind of topical cream. He's, he's a dirty guy. Be careful. After we danced, I took the guys over to a little sidebar to talk to the guys a little bit more and figure out who I really like. Okay, well, I got a chance to kiss Vinny, so um, I'm kind of um, curious about you two. How, if y'all are good kissers or not, you know? And I usually don't kiss on the first time, but y'all are just, you know, I can't resist myself. <laughs> That's sweet. I mean, I'll be, I'll maybe be the blunt one here, but I'll tell you the truth, um, I usually don't kiss right off on the first date too, especially in a situation like this, because okay. I think that's just trying to show off yeah. too much. Yeah, okay. You'll drop your shorts and you'll show her your goods, but then you won't kiss her on the list because you don't want to kiss her on the first date. Oh, that's here. Kiss? Uh-huh. Yeah. He's like, yeah, okay, all right. Anyway, I didn't get that far. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Nice, yeah. Yeah, that was nice. That was Listen, nice. looks good on you. <laughs> Watch this, man. I'll get it back off. Watch this. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's right. Off it's right, Red. <laughs> it was sick, too. But that was really nice. I think Gio looked quite good with lipstick. I'm sure he probably cross dresses on his spare time. Up next, the cruelest cut ever a public elimination in front of hundreds. Elimination. <laughs> I decided to do the final cut on the stage at Club Rio. It was really exciting being in front of hundreds of people. I have to eliminate two of these guys. The first, the first guy that I'm going to eliminate. I did have a lot of chemistry with on the dance floor. And that would be you, baby. because everybody in that crowd was for me and only me. I cut Vinny because he was really way too into me. Like, he seemed like he could be the scary psycho type. We don't need to. I'm an animal. I should have never lost. What are you thinking? You want to go out there and dance some more? Let's go hit the dance Let's floor. do it, girl. Let's Come on. Go.